Hello, welcome to the demo of Service Graph Connector from Land Sweeper. As you can see, I am going to show how it works in the, your ServiceNow instance, and I already installed in the instance that, that I am going to use in order to do the demo. Once the Service Graph Connector for Land Sweeper has been installed, you can see a new menu in your ServiceNow instance. This is the menu. And you are going to find a setup guide with all the necessary steps in order to, to, to start to use the service graph connector for Land Sweeper and synchronize your Land Sweeper cloud site with your service now instance. In the first screen of the service graph connector for Land Sweeper, we are explaining uh, how the, the integration will work. At the beginning, you are going to create a Land Sweeper app integration in order to allow to your ServiceNow instance to retrieve data from the Land Sweeper cloud only to the authorized site. Once you connected your ServiceNow, your ServiceNow instance with Land Sweeper cloud, the, the ServiceNow instance will synchronize the Land Sweeper assets that you have in the authorized sites and we are going to create a webhook in order to keep updated your service now instance, sending information about the updated assets from Land Super Cloud to this instance. After that, in your instance, we are going to apply some mappings and transformation in order to transform a Land Super asset into a CNDB class in Service Now. Let me start the process of the configuration. At the beginning, we are going to configure the credential and connection. And the first step is to configure the Land Sweeper app in Land Sweeper Cloud. Let me navigate to Land Sweeper. Here we are in my profile. In all applications, I can add a new application. I'm going to, to call ServiceNow Demo. And in the low weight callback, as is explained in the guide, we need to use this callback URL. But we need to replace this placeholder by your instant name. Now we can add the application and the client ID and the client secret related to this application has been downloaded. We are going to open and we will use later. Let me mark as complete the first step of the guide and we are going to configure the credential in service now. Now we can navigate with the configure button and we are going to create new connection and credential. Providing the data that of the application that has been created in Land Sweeper. The OAuth client ID is the client ID of the document downloaded. The client secret is the client secret of the document lo downloaded. The authorization URL is the application homepage in Land Sweeper app. The application homepage in Land Sweeper app can be retrieved seeing the, the application info and is here application homepage. You can copy the URL with a copy button. Now we are going to create a new connection and try to get an OAuth token. As you can see, it is starting the authentication process with Land Sweeper, and Land Sweeper is requesting the size that we are going to allow in order to read the asset data in order to integrate with your service now instance. In this case, I am going to use the Land Sweeper Lab. Now the connection has been created. Let me go back. And mark as complete this step. In the next step, we are going to configure the initial synchronization and it, it needs to activate some schedulers that will be used in, or in the mapping process and in order to start the initial synchronization process. 
In this step, we are going to activate only the SG Land Sweeper Row Assets and SG Land Sweeper Row Assets to ETL. We need to change this record in the service graph connector from Land Sweeper context. Then let me change the context and activate it. Now we are going to activate the other scheduler and I'm going to update in order to activate the schedule. Perfect. Now this step can be considered as completed and now we need to check the JSON file limit size. Right now in this instance has been already configured but in case you are uh, using the service graph connector for Land Sweeper in sites with a huge number of assets you are going to need to increase it. The, I am going to use a site that contains more or less 1,200 assets then it's unnecessary to increase but when you are working with, with more than 100 and 1,000 assets for sure you are going to need to increase the value in order to show you the value can be modified here. Now I am going to navigate to the next step in order to activate the flow that is managing and coordinating the full synchronization between your LAN super site and your service now instance. Perfect. With the activate button it will be activated. Anyway, the synchronization only will start at the end of the process of the setup guide. Perfect, the float has been activated. Let me return to the guide and mark as complete this step two. Now we are going to configure a webhook. For this step, we need to perform we need to create a new user. We are going to call the new user SG Land Sweeper Integration. And with the configure button, you can change the password of the user. In this case, the password that I'm going to set is a secret, but let me set. and we confirm to update the password. Then the next step is to create a webhook in the Land Super Cloud that will be linked with the application that we created in the first step. In order to do that, we need to go to Land Sweeper Cloud application to the webhook section and then add a new webhook. The payload URL as is, as is explained in the guide will be this one and we need to change the placeholder your instance by the name of your instance. Now we are going to select the application that we created in the first step, in this case the ServiceNow demo. We need to have all the events in the webhook and it should be enabled. Furthermore, as we created the user, we need to provide basic authentication in the webhook in order to trust in the notification that Land Sweeper sent to the ServiceNow instance. In this case, the name of the, ServiceNow, of the user created in ServiceNow is this one. And let me enter the password. Then 
The last step in the web hook creation is to select the entities that will be notified from Launch Super Cloud. In this case, we need to select Asset, Asset Custom, Server on Drive, Disk, Linux System, Network, Operating System, Processor, and System Enclosures. Let me add it. And now we have the web hook ready in order to use it in the integration. Let me save. And we are going to mark as complete this step. In the next step, we are going to activate the schedule that has not been activated in the second step of the guide. Is this one, the first one. And now all the scheduler has been activated. Let me close and mark as complete this step. In the ETL configuration, we only need to ensure that the ETL has been activated. Then I'm going to click in configure. This is the ETL that we are using in order to transform the non sweeper assets into ServiceNow classes. And as you can see, it is already activated in order to use it in the integration. In case in the maybe in the first installation it is not activated by default, and you need to follow all the steps, marking as completed, and at the end you will be able to activate it. Don't worry if appears any error here because it is trying to load the data of the integration, but we didn't start the integration. Now we can close this, this tab and mark as complete. We are in the, in the last step. In order to validate the integration, we are going to, to get a now token to the Land Super client that we are going to use to perform requests to Land Super Cloud. Then, as usual, we click in Configure. We click in here in order to edit the service graph connector for Land Super context. We are going to search in Old Profile the Land Super profile. We are going to update. Service now closes the, the tab, but we need to click in Configure again and get OAuth token. As you remember, we already authorized the sites and the token has been retrieved without issues. Everything is ready in this part, then we can mark as complete and start the integration. We click in configure and start process. With the start process, the export the flow that we saw before has started. It will take a few minutes depending on how many assets do you have in your site. Then you need to wait a bit. Meanwhile, it is executing. I'm going to show the rest of the screens that you can find in the service graph connector for Land Sweeper. The most relevant screen that I can share with you is the Land Sweeper dashboard where all the information related to the integration can be found. For example, we have the number process of rows. It seems that 
the export has been finished but let me show all the all the screens and we are going to check the assets imported from Landsweeper. We have a support module in order to be able to contact with the Landsweeper support if you are experimenting troubles or issues with your service graph connector from Landsweeper. And furthermore, we are providing a view of all the tables that are used in the integration. We recommend to the customer to don't touch it. Keep the tables as it is in order to ensure that the integration will work always. Furthermore, we have the import schedules that in the setup guide we activated that are the responsible to coordinate the transformation and the export processes. In the data source, we have the different sources of data that we can find in the integration. One of them in order to process the, the export file and the others in the others in order to support after process the export file in order to store the assets loaded from Landsweeper in a way that ServiceNow can manage in the ETL process and the other is to receive the webhooks and manage an update of an asset. Now I'm going to show the assets that has been loaded from Landsweeper integration. Then we are going to go to cndbci.list table and here we have a lot of assets that has been has been included in order to check an asset that belongs to the land sweeper we need to use the discovery source column which is indicating where the asset where where comes this asset in this case we only are interested in sg land sweeper and now we can see all the elements that has been imported from land sweeper cloud into your service now instance and with that the demonstration is finished thank you very much